welcome to Water Desk in Winter 2016 video tutorial. I want to do the exercise which I did before in Linux, sort of sketch skeleton modeling. So therefore, I have already prepared an assembly. It's empty except one empty part. It's called sketch skeleton model assembly, and the part is called one sketch only. Now let's go to the part and I want to define at first some parameters. So I have a parameter one is one to forty two is one to fifty. Let's make it rather more export. Done. Now I need a sketch made of the XY plane. I need some circles. This one could be two in diameter. And one. Okay. Then I need two lines. And make these two lines tangled. Circles yep. and maybe align these two lines vertical, then trim, like this. Let's go for some blocks, create a block. This one, I call this one B. B and that one should be the connector, not connector, connector. B. Okay. Let's take a look. Some blocks. Here. And I want to change this one. This should be flexible. And I want to level it and add a dimension. And this should be the connector length. Okay, finish on the block. Now I have to align these by some constraints. This one 
here. Test it and change it. Uh, design this one. This works back to one hundred. Now I can create some components, make components. That's my sketch skill model. I am. one and then include the parameters okay next one should be this next this okay and the last one Just check in. Okay. Finish the 2D sketch. And then I can go over the parts. Oh, I just forgot the two planes. So here I have the planes. The distance. First should be plane one. Second should be in two distance. Okay. And I should save it. Okay. Let's go to the RB. That's now the part. This block is available for an extrude, and it should go up to this plane. Confirm it. I could mirror it with an X Y plane. Next part, make an extrude. There's only one sketch, so automatically chooses this one up to red plane. Confirm, mirror that feature with XY plane. Okay. And make again an extrude and make it symmetric, and this should be the depth. Okay, let's hide two rub planes. Something this looks nice. Let's see if it works. Where is it? There we go. That's the control part. And let's check. Change this to be twenty. Yes, change maybe this one to sixty. Update, yes. So, seems it works. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and see you to the next one in the series. I will make up my mind which program I will choose 
I think SolidWorks or Katia should be the next. Bye bye. Thank you.